what is your, you know, one talking point elevator speech uh, that you would make if you had a minute or so with a high-level policymaker and you got their attention and there was one idea that you wanted to, um, you know, really leave them with. So just imagining uh, yourself, let's say, uh, behind uh, President Obama waiting at the Hertz rental checkout line. It's kind of hard to imagine, but, you know, there you are. you got a minute or so, and um, he's an influential person. Um, what would you say, and you've talked a bit about libraries, certainly. What's your top policy goal right now in Washington? In the pre-Internet environment, reader privacy required legislation and an ethical commitment of professionals who are intermediaries. In the internet environment, we also require legislation and some kind of advocacy groups that are well positioned like librarians have been to establish those kind of norms or ethical standards. Okay, so, you, so you want some legislation. Uh, very briefly, what do you want your legislation to do? I would like the legislation to have more of an opt-in rather than opt-out theme for what we have right now is more of an opt you have to struggle to opt out. So it, it could be centered in the um, fair and unfair and de deceptive trade practices kind of approach, right. um, but, but more of an, an opt-in. You want to legislate opt-in. Okay, he thanks you for that, grabs the rental car, and he's gone. I don't know if I have a main talking point. I've never imagined myself in an elevator with uh, President Obama. But if I had the chance, what I would really like to see is uh, attention, focus, and importance placed on privacy. I feel in the federal government, I feel we've struggled to say security and privacy or safety and privacy. And I'm constantly trying to get people who are talking about safety to say, can you throw in the word privacy too? Because I think we need more attention to the topic and to the issue. And so I see the FTC struggling with these issues and trying to make headway. I think Commerce is now joining in. I know HHS is working on privacy guidelines. I would like to see a privacy person in charge of privacy policy the head honcho person in the federal government who could work towards consistency and coherence across our agencies and across our government. Someone, when the government's having an issue, to put them in touch with people like Epic or to just have some more coherence there. So a privacy agency, I mean, sort of a freestanding. Privacy head honcho. Yeah, cool. Privacy, so privacy in the name. Privacy yeah. czar, that's good. Yeah, Excellent. I like that. Privacy dude. I mean, we can just keep going. Okay. There are a lot of people that know a lot about how to develop software so that we do protect the privacy of individuals and that we do keep that information secure, but that the way that the laws are written make it impossible for us to do it. And, we're, and that's what we're working with at NC State. We're working a lot on how do we um, design software that <laughs> is compliant with regulations. And if we had the right people in the room, I love my friends who are lawyers, but there are a lot of technologists who know a lot about this who do understand law as well, and there's ways that we can write things differently so that we can actually enforce so, uh, regulations in, in software. I'd like to see, and this has already been signed on with, by some of the major tech companies, this is a uh, revision in our surveillance laws between the Electronic Communications Privacy Act and the Stored Communications Act. These laws were written back in 1986 using words like remote you know, storage, remote computing service, electronic communication service, and they don't really... Hey, I wrote those laws. Go easy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they, I think they point. just need to be updated. Yeah. Um, and the other one that actually hasn't been discussed yet is uh, to the extent that the FCC doesn't have the power um, to, impose, to impose kind of these net neutrality regulations, I think that actually has an impact on privacy. To the extent that uh, carriage obligations are imposed upon people that carry data. Uh, the idea that, that we need to you know, protect the confidentiality of some of, of the data that they're transferring back and forth. And so I think that that's a, an important step in privacy. Sometimes gets lost in the discussion of net neutrality, but I think it would be an important byproduct. My talking point would be I would ask you to resist militarization of the internet because mm. it exacerbates the trend for countries to move towards a localized digital infrastructure policy and instead of adopt legislation that uh, carries with it well-recognized uh, international standards like the Fair Information Practices in the OECD guidelines. 